All right, folks, Pete Downey here. All right, so I did a video uh, recently on how to get started with Citrix Managed Desktops. Now, let's take a look at how we access those desktops. All right, now remember, the value of Citrix Managed Desktops is simple. One, you don't have to have a subscription to Azure because they're gonna do it for you. And two, within hours, I would say, you could have a simple VDI scenario spun up without having to bring any infrastructure up on your side or in your data center. So it's very easy, it's very quick, and it's, and it's a very simple solution. And that's what I love about Citrix Managed Desktop. So let's take a look, I have two catalogs. So if you remember in my demo, uh, my last demo, I set up these two catalogs and within them I have two different scenarios. So in this scenario, we have the pooled scenario of like virtual machines. So, you know, it's running Windows 10. I added it to my domain um, and I got one machine, but let's pretend that that's at a hundred and I needed to get a hundred users connected to this. So let's say you're a small shop and you just want to get some VDIs running. So I can go in here and manage my subscribers and add, you know, subscribers from my domain. Um, so, I, you know, for example, I could add my domain users or I could add specific uh, user groups, et cetera. Um, so that's how I can manage subscribers. So in this scenario, I just have a very simple desktop and I'm just serving up uh, VDI sessions. Um, in my other scenario, I have a Windows 10 multi-session uh, scenario where I can also do a published desktop uh, and or applications. So I can actually do virtual apps in Citrix Managed Desktops as well. And again, in this scenario, I just have a domain admin assigned to these because maybe this could be an admin machine or whatnot. But again, you can do virtual apps inside of Citrix Managed Desktops. All right, so let's take a look at how do we access uh, these desktops. So there's a simple thing called workspace configuration. Uh, just like in Citrix, you have your storefront, but in the cloud, it's called workspace. So let's take a look. So in your world, you're gonna have a URL that's gonna have your company name dot cloud dot com. And then uh, you're, you can go in and do other things like customize the workspace. So let's say you wanna add your logo or you want to, um, you know, do some little different colors, things like that, you can do that. But more importantly, you can also go in and set up certain preferences. So one of the things I wanna do is turn on the ability to automatically launch the desktops. Now, by default, this is off. So you need to go in here and turn this on. So let's say, you know, you just wanna be able to do desktops right out of the gate. That's all they're gonna be able to do. You can do that now. All right, so let's take a look at launching a few scenarios. So what I got is I got scenario A, which is I have a corporate uh, thin client that is running IGEL. So I got a very basic uh, thin client. It's got the IGEL OS running, and I need to configure this thing. Now, one of the cool things about IGEL is from a central location, I can manage these devices. So I have a another server running up in Azure, and I'm gonna take my device here, and I, I got to set up to be a basic config. All right, and I now wanna configure this device to become a uh, Citrix managed desktop. So I'm gonna bring it down and I'm gonna lock it down and have a lockdown experience, all right? And so what this is gonna do is this is gonna apply the policies, uh, which are known as profiles in the IGEL world and, and lock down this device. So let's go take a look at what happens here. So it's gonna say, hey, we are gonna apply these changes. So I'm gonna say, okay and it's gonna go and pull down uh, the uh, information in the scenario that I set. Now, in this scenario, um, you know, because I'm doing an auto launch, I need to actually reboot uh, the application. So I'm gonna give this guy a reboot, and it's gonna, on the next reboot, it's gonna auto launch the browser in full screen mode, and that's all it's gonna let me do, is it's gonna only allow me to log in and out of Citrix Workspace. Now, how did I do that? Well, I'll show you really quickly while this boots is I set a policy, uh, what's called a profile. So if I go back to my UMS server, I got my, uh, uh, my kiosk mode right here, what I call kiosk mode. And there's different ways you can configure this, but I did it via the browser. So what I did is I went in, I can configure my Citrix to act in a specific way. So for example, you know, I, I wanted to give it to, you know, maybe one monitor as an example. Uh, and I also want to see the control bar as well. Um, and then I can go down here and set up my browser as well. And one of the things I can do is set up a session um, and configure the various settings. So it's gonna go to right to the, the URL. And then I can also lock down the, br the browser as well. So for example, I can turn off pretty much every menu and toolbar so that all it is is a shell to get into uh, Citrix. So pretty cool. So I'm gonna cancel that so it doesn't apply. 
and we're gonna jump back into my device. So here we go, we got our device. I'm gonna log in. So I'm gonna log in as my domain admin. And, and hopefully this is gonna auto launch the published desktop. So here we go. And again, this is running the Linux-based workspace app on the on the Agile client. It's actually running the uh, 1906 version, um, and it's it's uh, going to have all the features that are built into the Linux-based receiver. So again, Agile can only do so much from a configuration point of view, um, and there are still going to be. Uh, you know, held to whatever the matrix supports from a Linux perspective. So I like to use the browser-based um, approach because it gives you a little more functionality. Now, here you go, you got your desktop launched, everything's ready to go. And what I'm gonna do is just for fun, I'll launch a browser and uh, I'll do a quick search for Citrix uh, managed desktops. And I am gonna go in here and bring up my little page and start researching uh, everything on Citrix managed desktops. And oh, wait, it's time to go home. So I'm gonna go home now and I'm gonna disconnect my uh, session. So what I'll do is I will, uh, you know, s disconnect the session and go home. So I'm ready to go home, everything's good. And that's it. Now pretend that I um, forgot to log off. This would auto log off based on that timeout that I did. I could also log out and what's going to happen is it's going to go back to the logon screen. So again, you can set this up to only show this experience. All right. So pretty cool. Now I go home, I open up my browser and I jump into my URL and I'm going to go and log in as the domain admin again. And we should see our session jump over to my home computer and I can continue working from where I left off. So just like on premise, uh, in in a, in a on-premise install of Citrix, you can do the roaming. You can essentially get all the functionality and goodness that you get. Now, the value here is I don't have to have any resources on-prem. It's all managed by Citrix, and everything is done. All right, so we have our session here, and you can see everything's here. Uh, you know, let's go. We can go to another site, and we can bring up. Uh, you know, another website, so we got a couple tabs going, and you know, I'm like, all right, I'm done for the night. I've done my work, I'm all set. So I'm just gonna disconnect because I wanna I wanna leave my session active and maybe I'll log on later or whatnot. But again, obviously there's timeouts, you can set those timeouts via policies, but for now we're gonna disconnect and that's it. So then I'm gonna log off here and let's just for one final test here we'll go back to our corporate client and we're going to log in as our domain admin and we'll put the uh, password in all right and this is going to log in again and it's going to auto launch that desktop and it's going to bring up hopefully where we left off uh, last night. Now again, I know you can set some aggressive timeouts if you wanted to. Um, it all depends on the enterprise, but let's pretend that you know I'm pretty lenient with my disconnect scenarios. And there you go. So there's my session. So very smooth, simple demo here. Of, you know, what we, you know was known as smooth roaming. Uh, so that's scenario number one. So let's uh, right click and disconnect here. Scenario number two is let's let's now show kind of launching a BDI session. So. Uh, if I go back to my uh, UI here uh, really quick and I'll log off just because uh, we want to make sure we're good to go. Um, and let's go back to my Citrix managed desktop uh, interface here. And remember, I, I created a pooled scenario. All right, let's take a look at the logon and we're gonna jump we're gonna jump in and log on to our quote unquote corporate device. Um, which is an IGIL thin OS device. And we're gonna log in this time as a user. And what we should see is um, a BDI session auto launch this time. So let's log in and see how VDI works with the uh, Citrix managed desktop. So again, the value here is I don't have to worry about infrastructure subscriptions, etc. So this is going to auto launch a VDI session that's sitting up in um, Azure that's being managed by Citrix. So we got the connection going. And again, this should auto launch a Windows 10 desktop that's sitting up in the Citrix managed desktop world. All right, so there we go. 
So we got our nice session here. Uh, let's double click and just run some apps really quick. Now, one of the things that's interesting here is you can pull in your own um, image and there is gonna be an offering down the road with a office is well built in. So right now you'll see that there's no office built in, but eventually there will be an image for that. And again, you can pull in your own images. So let's get a couple tabs going here. And, and then we're gonna say, oh, it's time to go home and go. Uh, so I'm ready, I'm all set with work. And, um, you know, I'm not, I'm just gonna leave this is, and I'm not, I'm not even gonna disconnect. I'm just gonna leave it as is and walk away from my desk. Now I know that's not good practice, but I wanna just show the ability to pull the session in to the home browser. So let's pretend for a minute that I go and I am going to uh, log in now from here. So I'm gonna put in my username and password. And we're gonna see our desktop. All right, so we're logging in and we should see our desktop and we should see it auto launch. And it's gonna pull the session over from my work session. So we should see this close, which it does. And then we are going to see it launch now on my local desktop here. So we're again, we're using the Citrix workspace app to do this and it should pick up where it left off. So there we go. So we got our two tabs here and you know, we got pretty good solution, pretty good performance and we're good to go. So that's that. So that's how we, uh, so again, what we showed is we showed the ability to um, use Citrix Managed Desktop uh, to not only manage uh, virtual desktop sessions, but also virtual apps as well. So you can go in here and not only get to uh, virtual uh, desktops, but also virtual apps and launch apps from uh, Citrix Managed Desktop. So again, Thanks for taking the time to watch. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll do another demo coming up on kind of the, the, nit, the nitty gritty. So things like get a little deeper into images, things like network connections, and just kind of a little more geek's guide to uh, Citrix managed desktops. All right, have a great day.